ಬೇಡ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಟಿಫಿನ್ ಮಾಡಿ ನಡಿ ಹೆಲೋ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಆ ಸೆಲೆಬ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನೌ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೋರ್ ರಿಲ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ಡ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಚಿಟ್ ಚಾಟಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಪೆಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫೆಸ್ಟಿವಲ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಕುಕ್ ವೆರೈಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿ ಫುಡ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೇವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆನಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗಾರ್ಲಿಕ್ ಚಿಡಿ ವಿಚ್ ಐ ವುಡೆಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆನ್ ದ ದಿವಾಲಿ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀ ಪೂಜಾ ಡೇ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಐ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪ್ರಿಪ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಮೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಮಿನಿಯೇಚರ್ ಸ್ನ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಚೋಲೆ ಭತೂರೆ ದ ಡೋ ಫಾರ್ ಭತೂರಾ ನೀಡ್ಸ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಮೆಷರ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಕಪ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲೇನ್ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಮೈದಾ ಮೈದಾ ಹಿಟ್ಟು ಐ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಅ ವೆಲ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಟು ಆ್ಯಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಾಲ್ಟ್ ಅ ಟೀ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಆಫ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಹಾಫ್ ಅ ಟೀ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕುಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೋಡಾ ಕ್ವಾಟರ್ ಟೀ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಆಫ್ ಬೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಸೋಡಾ ತ್ರೀ ಟೀ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸೆಸಮ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಎಳ್ಳೆಣ್ಣೆ ಅ ಟೇಬಲ್ ಸ್ಪೂನ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋಗರ್ಟ್ ನೌ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಎನಿ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೋರ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಯಿಲ್ ನೀಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೀಡೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಬತೂರಾ ಇಸ್ ಹೈ ಹೆನ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಗುಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಷನಲ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಎನಿ ಅದರ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸನ್ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಆಯಿಲ್ ಐ ಸ್ಪ್ರಿಂಕಲ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಎಟ್ ಅ ಟೈಮ್ ಪಂಚಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಡಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪಂಚಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೋ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಲೌವಿಂಗ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆಸ್ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಆಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ದ ಎಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಡೇ ಐ ವುಡ್ ಸಿ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಟು ಏಟ್ ಅವರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ವುಡ್ ಬಿ ಎಕ್ಸಲೆಂಟ್ ಟು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಡೋ ಐ ಫಿನಿಷ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಐಟಮ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಡೇ ದಟ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಪ್ಲ್ಯಾನ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಐಟಮ್ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಡೀಪ್ ಫ್ರೈಂಗ್ ದ ಮೋರ್ ಯು ರೆಸ್ಟ್ ದ ಬತೂರಾಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಟರ್ನ್ ಸಾಫ್ಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫ್ಲಫಿ ಐ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ವೆಟ್ ಮಸ್ಲಿನ್ ಕ್ಲಾತ್ Now to make the chori, I have two tins of kapuri channa chickpeas which are ready to use. I wash them with good running water with a tablespoon of oil, one small palav leaf, a teaspoon of cumin seeds, one big onion which is finely chopped, a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste that I saute just for a minute until it's aromatic and then I add in two tomatoes chopped. When the tomatoes turn soft, I add in the chanas, a teaspoon of Kashmiri red chilli powder, a teaspoon of jeera powder, a teaspoon of dhaniya powder, 2 teaspoon of chole masala, salt to taste. I add in just quarter cup of water as I want the chana to absorb all the masala. Once the water is completely absorbed, I turn off the flame. I want the chole to be not watery um, as the plan here is to top it up on the bhatoras later when the guests arrive. finishing it off by adding in coriander leaves and lime for the starters i also have mini vada pav on mind to make uh, so for the potato stuffing i have 2 tablespoons of oil mustard seeds one big onion finely chopped 2 teaspoons of ginger paste boiled and mashed potato a teaspoon of green chili paste turmeric salt coriander leaves lime the flavor of ginger should nicely kick in making the stuffing taste great I'm going to make the vadas with this stuffing uh, later once it's cooled down, so I keep it aside. Vada pav has lots of elements, so here is to another element, garlic and peanut powder, for which I dry roast 1 tablespoon of sesame seeds, yellow, first thing on the pan, on a very low flame as these seeds uh, do not need a lot of heat. They will just start spluttering even before they are cooked. So, the first thing is dry roasting the sesame seeds and once they are roasted, I transfer them into the mixi jar. The next stage would be two dried red chilies with just a drop or two of oil. So, I am roasting all of the ingredients one after the other in batches and then I dry roast dried coconut that I cut in chunks. It's easier to cut them than grate them is what I feel. With the dry coconut already having a lot of oil content in them, you need not add any more extra oil or additional oil to them. and then two handfuls of shenga which is peanuts that I dry roast. It's easier to peel off the skin once they are cooled down. Now the last batch is the garlic cloves with oil that I fry. I peel off the peanut skin and add them into the mixi jar to make garlic and peanut powder. This powder lasts for a long time and tastes incredibly good with chapatis, bread toast or even with hot rice and ghee. I have added in salt and just used the whisk button
I also add in coriander leaves and water. baby potatoes that I wash and boil in water and salt and then I transfer them onto the tray to air fry with just a spray of oil for 10 minutes time at 190 degrees. I have half a bowl of eggless mayonnaise, 2 teaspoons of cumin powder which is jeera powder, a teaspoon of parsley, a teaspoon of chili flakes, pizza seasoning, a teaspoon of garlic granules, a teaspoon of paprika, I mix it and then I add this and toss it up with the potatoes to get creamy masalidar potatoes. With almost all the elements ready and the potatoes stuffing cool down, I make very small rounds that I flatten just like patties as it will be easier to eat is what I feel. To deep fry the vadas, I have besan, gram flour, which is katle bele hitto, salt, turmeric powder, cooking soda and water. In which way the batter will be not drippy in the oil and it will be a nice good thick coating for tasty vadas. I use two forks in which way it's a lot easier to coat them and scoop them in the oil. So I have made all these preparations a day before guests arrive making it a good balance in preparation. I'm now making baturas. It's been six hours. The dough has nicely rested. I pinch a very small portion of the dough dipping it in the oil um, then applying the flour or maida. Thin long chilies that I wash, pat dry and then I slit open uh, to shallow fry in oil. It's very important to slit open. If you don't, then the chilies might just pop up and burst. And then you can use the slit portion to be filled in with salt and cumin powder. The following day, both me and Santosh uh, set making the main menu ready. Now, here I'm the helper and Santosh takes over. Honestly speaking, uh, he finds cooking quite relaxing after all the busy hours of working in front of the computers. Hello. And so here we are making tonde kai chutney, dry roasting two handfuls of peanuts, keeping it aside with yell and milk sesame oil in a pan, mustard seeds, onions, curry leaves, tonde kai, ibigod, green chilies that we saute until they turn soft. Adding in tangled. 2 tomatoes, Himalayan pink salt. Once it's cooled down completely, that's when I transfer it into a mixi jar along with coriander leaves to grind into a coarse chutney like this. Santosh bought fresh moringa leaves, drumstick leaves from Eastern London. So we thought we should be making the best use of it as I'm very sure all my friends would love to have it as we don't get these leaves here in Newcastle where we live. So I have a bowl full of these leaves, moringa leaves, which are high in nutritional value. With yelleni in a pot, moringa leaves. And then goes in the tomatoes. Cooked 2 down, 1 cup, turmeric powder, Kashmiri red chilli powder, MTR sambar powder, tamarind pulp, setting it to come to a good boil, parallelly in a pan with oil, large chunks of onions which will taste really nice when sauteed. And then making the vagarne which is tadka, oil, ghee, mustard seeds, cumin seeds, Dry red chilies, fenugreek seeds, curry leaf, and hing.
now to make another status with cricket theme on mine i have one cup measurement of plain flour maida to this i add in ajwain salt and ghee adding in water to make a dough i shall rest this dough for two hours time I roll the dough dusting plain flour. I actually got this idea just a day before. Now the cricket bat cutter was not available on Prime so I couldn't manage to place an order. But when I get an idea in my head I have to see it work straight away. So I used a butter knife in giving a cricket shape bat cut which was actually quite easy to make and this way I have created more than 20 cricket bats and using the same dough make small balls to, uh, to make cricket balls catching up with the world cup cricket theme with India reaching finals to play and our group loves watching cricket so I'm sure they'll love this too I'm air frying them for 3 minutes time at 190 degrees it's every occasion every festival to celebrate Zia fashion makes perfect and complete to shop and here is to a beautiful gorgeous festive wear silk navy blue and beige weaving designer sari look how exclusive and stunning it is this sari and its combination of colors the pallu the puttas the border everything is so rich with its traditional yet very modern look the weaving work appears chic and ideally suited for parties and ceremonies that i am waiting to wear it um, with the wedding season to begin soon zia fashion is the one-stop shop to buy all your wedding collection from saris to lehengas now the best part they do a worldwide free shipping on orders above 249 us dollars otherwise shipping charges will be according to product weight they also do a free shipping in india there is cash on delivery available on selected pin codes in india there is also custom stitching facility available that i have the blouse ready it's perfect fitting comes in as a complete pack with right measurements um, the fall and edging is done as well for the sari that we can wear it straight away as soon as we receive the post so what are you waiting for shop now at sia fashion for all the festive and wedding wear collection i'm leaving a link for you all to check so make sure to tap the link in the description box for sia fashion though it's a rich silk sari it's very comfy love the quality of sia fashion for their fineness and finishing so i chose these jumkas and these bangles the smell of the fresh jasmine malige hoo adds on to the festive celebration stunning piece right that every lady would love to own this sari so now that i'm all ready i have last minute preparations to do i have made masala nuts that i have shared long time back on my youtube video um i will link up that video here and also will make sure to create a youtube shot soon for those who want to catch up on this quickly i bought these jars uh, cute and tiny from ikea to give it to my friends with haldi kunku now with the haldi kumkum tray ready i bought these super small buns from asda to make vada pav santa applies a layer of mint chutney garlic and peanut powder with one vada and toothpick to hold this is my friend Hema and her daughter Vismaya who are giving me a helping hand to finish off. Hema is plating up the batidas with a teaspoon of chole over, coconut slices and spring onions. So here we have made miniature version of chole bature as starters, vada pav, creamy baby potatoes, peanut salad, masala gongura pickle, Majgi mentioned kai, chutney puri and tuppa. All our friends are here appreciating and loving and enjoying our home cooked delicacies. So here is to our cricket theme starters with multi-green crackers that I bought from the supermarket. Applying a layer of green chutney, cucumber slices, plum tomato slice and 
and our homemade cricket bats and balls. We have our little Agastya who is very keen to be part of this video who gave me a helping hand in plating up and serving everyone. The real joy comes when everyone enjoys the food and this group of ours is a bundle of fun and musty that keeps us in good spirits all the time and we love having them home. We have had a lovely Diwali and post Diwali celebration. So many gatherings. Uh, we are actually kind of waiting for next. We live every day celebrating. That celebration should become a part of your everyday life. With all the celebrations that we continue in our life, the wedding season, Shadika season is here. that I have got to share this extremely beautiful piece from Sia Fashion. Just look at this stunning piece, beautiful double border, a great contrast of sari body colour and a very rich pallu that is just perfect for weddings. It has a lovely tassel that you don't have to run around to the tailors. Sia Fashion do an amazing job making it complete and straightforward and easy to wear as soon as you receive the parcel with their custom stitching facility services, full edging uh, and ready to wear blouse. This blouse is so rich with its colour that we can actually match it up with any of your existing sari as well. This sari is perfect for reception wear or for any of the wedding ceremonies. It's woven olive green and purple Kanchivaram silk sari. It's a glamorous sari showing the feel of cute and grace. Sia Fashion have an amazing collection of saris that you can pick from their website for all of your wedding functions that are lined up. Trust me, it's a one-stop shop that you will be very happy to shop. And with the wedding season, I felt it is very important for me to show a lovely trending sari drape with you all. So I have purchased half a mannequin at home with the love for saris and you all as well, uh, showing so much of love with all my sari creations. So here is the step-by-step -step guide on how you can drape a lovely, beautiful border sari. First thing first, always have a box ready with safety pins and very importantly place pearls in them into the uh, box as well keeping them ready and place each pearl in the safety pin first in which way the fabric will not get tangled in your pin. Always keep the sari on the other side in which way the sari and your legs will not get tangled. Start the drape from your right hand side by tucking the sari neatly. So you are leaving a finger measurement from your sari petticoat knot. With just one round of sari, you tuck it in neatly, not making it look baggy or bulky and then stop it at your navel, using the rest of the sari to go around and then onto your shoulder. So this amount of the centre sari fabric we are going to make pleats. First, let's make the beautiful border visible by pinning it in which way it will not move. And then start lifting up small sections like this, giving a good shape and then pin. Pleat the remaining and give a good shake. This is my mom's technique in which way all the pleats will fall in place straight away. First pin it and then tuck it in. Now let's get the pallu on. Holding small sections uh, from the bottom and pinning in which way the shape of the pallu uh, will be intact even if you keep moving around. And then the corner of the pallu can be folded up like this. That will go around your wrist like this. You can also put it on your shoulder like this for another different look almost like a Bengali style sari drape. This way you can pre-drape the sari beforehand and keep it ready in which way it will be super fast to get ready uh, during the wedding ceremonies. So here is me getting the sari on and this is the final look that you can carry as well as this style of draping is quite popular and trending now making it just perfect for the wedding season. I have pinned the pallu on my wrist which is very comfortable to move around and carry it with style and elegance. Hope you found this sari drape interesting. Make sure to leave me a comment if you would like to see more different styles of sari drape. Do you know? Yeah. Bharti, photo take it.